Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, this is going to be an update. Uh, this is May 17th, uh, 2017, on a Wednesday. And, um, oh man, there's just so much I want to talk about. One thing, it got, got a little chilly today, and uh, a little bit of sprinkling, but it's, it's a little cold. That's why you see me back, getting my winter clothes back out on. And, uh, it's not already that cold, but like I say I'm not used to that that cold weather. So, but uh, uh, but anyway, there's been some changes that have been going on, and I've kind of said a little bit about it, and um, and what it is, it's this ghost city that I'm living in. It's um, uh, I'm in um, Kunming, uh, China. Uh, K-U-N-M-I-N-G. And I'm on the farthest southern end. And um, it's, uh, it's called uh, University City or University Town, something like that. And uh, that's what you're going to see on the signs. And um, there's a lot of ghost cities around here, a lot. And uh, these ghost cities... Uh, I guess they opened them up. Some of them have been open for about 20 years. And uh, this one here that I'm at, uh, probably about 10 years. I, when, when I first got here, I thought maybe five years. But I've been talking to people, and the best I can figure, it's been about 10 years. And uh, I noticed also there's been a much more of a police presence um, boy, just within the past week or two, and uh, let's see, and I've been here uh, six weeks, six weeks or seven weeks, six or seven weeks I've been here. Uh, before the, this, I was in uh, uh, Kung, Chung, Chungking, I was in Chungking before I came here, but uh, I was there for a month, and then, uh, uh, like I say, about six, seven weeks here. And um, uh, so there's been uh, um, much more of a police presence been coming up. Um, and I've noticed that even the police have helmets and uh, nightsticks. And not all of them, but, but uh, this is what I've been seeing. And um, uh, much uh, police cars, uh, not just... Uh, when I first came here, you could just see one every once in a while walking around. They wear black, and uh, uh, so now you can see there's there's more of them, and they're on motorcycles, and they got a little red light on their motorcycle, uh, on a bar. They got a little bar on the back comes up, and a little light on there, and uh, they got a little siren on there too, along just like the cars, and so every once in a while you hear ramp like that, you know, to let you know that. You know, I guess I guess people feel safe when the when the police presence is here, and uh, so anyway, so I've been seeing more of them around, and then uh, just within the past few days, uh, I'm talking about like maybe three or four days, uh, I've been seeing uh, active police. Uh, I tried to take a video. It's I call it a. You'll see it. Uh, PW and then uh, uh, a date or something. And what that is, people watching. And I've been trying to do it on the, uh, the motorcycle. I put it in my vest pocket and then ride around on the motorcycle so you can see what's going on. And um, uh, uh, you, but I, I, I can't, I'm having a hard time uploading and um, uh, I don't have any storage, and so I gotta do my best on uploading, and then I eliminate it and start another, try to make another video. So uh, I'm, you're missing out on a lot, a lot of videos, and um, uh, so, but and uh, it, I can't even upload it to my laptop to store it on my laptop. So then when I get back to the states, I can uh, put it back up on there, but I can't even do that. So it's. I'm just limited on what I can do, so so get ready for a lot of storytelling. And uh, but anyway, uh, so the police, uh, I say first I noticed 
they were, uh, and, and they were younger policemen too. Uh, if you notice on some of the videos, when you see them, you see it looks like an old man walking around with a black uniform. Now the younger guys, and like I say, they're wearing helmets and nightsticks, and uh, they're uh, so he's been seeing more in the past. Like I say uh, three or four days. Uh, I've been seeing them on street vendors. They're cracking down on the street vendors. And uh, I mean, when I say cracking down, I'm talking, they're telling everybody to move on, no more. You're not going to be doing any more street vending. So, uh, uh, and then uh, also, uh, and so they've been, uh, a lot of areas you could see, you, you know, there was clusters of street vendors. And I mean, lots of, I mean, lots of, lots of people. Uh, I mean, this, uh, this is like a new frontier here. And uh, so all these, all these people, all these vendors, a lot of, a lot of action going on. Now it's pretty much calmed down a lot. <laughs> so now you don't, there's not, not that many people. Like I actually I tried to make a video showing what's going on. Uh, so uh, they're trying to get more control here. Uh, also, I noticed in the roads... Uh, if you'll see my uh, earlier videos, uh, they have the roads and uh, the, you know, with, with the street lights and all that kind of stuff, and uh, intersections. And now I'll show the traffic. I'm gonna now I, I can't I can't look at, at a YouTube. I'm I'm filtered out of all that stuff. They don't let me in. China doesn't have uh, Google and all that stuff. So uh, I'm gonna have to wait till I get back to the states and then I'll look it up. And uh, see, but I, I don't remember much traffic when I first came here, like I say, six, seven weeks ago. Now there's more traffic. Uh, like I say, there's more police. And uh, these intersections that were slow, now there's, there's more. Still not, not much traffic. In, in my, my way, I look at things, not much traffic at all. But a whole lot more than what there was when I first came. And also, uh, you, there's, they put a white fence. You know, the center line? In, on these, these streets, they put a white fence going down there. And um, so, uh, and I've, I'm, you know, stuff like this, I've been noticing. Uh, like I say the police now, though, uh, they run around in groups. Um, and I, I don't know why. I mean, it's not like you don't never see them arresting anybody. You know, I mean, people don't around here. People are easy gone now, and uh, so they don't really don't do nothing. So I don't know why they're doing it. Like I say, it's just the police presence. Now, uh, yesterday I was with a gal, and she was telling me, but I was I'm, I'm always asking questions because I, I see so much stuff and I don't understand nothing. And some of my fine bag can speak English; they can tell me what's going on, and and even at that time. They most time they don't know or they don't want to tell me, and uh, but anyway, I, I told this guy, I said, Man, you know, it seems like there's more and more police, and there's more all kinds of things going on here since I've been here. And she says that uh, they've opened, let me see, they uh, they got different grades of cities, I guess you call it. I don't know how to say the words. Or levels, or something like that. And uh, first, it's a ghost city, and it's just an empty city uh, with just bare minimum for maintenance. And then, as the people start coming in, as they open it and let people come in, it goes up more in the in the level. And uh, what's happening is when you see they clean the you know they're cleaning the place up by getting rid of the street vendors. Uh, they don't let you. You have to have a license. See, these, these street vendors didn't have licenses. Now you have to have a license. You have to be okayed by the state. Uh, you have to be. You have to do things their way. And as you do that, you it comes up the in the level of the cities, and uh, so does this fence <laughs> going down instead of the center line. It put a fence, and that's so then people can't. Uh, what do they call it? Jaywalk, go across, just walk across. You have to go down to the intersections to cross. And uh, they do like that uh, to raise the, the level of the city. Now, I don't know why that would make a difference 
in the level of the city. I, I have no idea. Uh, you'll see they have these on the corners, uh, not all the corners, but some of the corners they have these posts like police watching stations, you know, so uh, you know, in Central America we have those and that's for the military to control the traffic. So, uh, but I don't know what they have these. They all got tinted windows and there's nobody in them. So uh, it's one of these things for future use. And, uh, but anyway, uh, so uh, things have been changing. And she told me that this was not a ghost city, no longer. So I guess even the local people call these ghost cities. But now, like I say, uh, once you get to a certain level, you're no longer a ghost city. Now you are a city. And I've made videos talking uh, where you've seen me uh, going through. In between these ghost cities, uh, there's like villages. Not not everywhere, but they're, they're, they're out there. You, just, you have to hunt them down. That's what I found out. You really have to look for them. And uh, I found them, and I, I drive through them, and I've been taking some pictures on that. Uh, I don't remember. I tried to upload them. I don't know if they've been uploaded because uh, they only come. I can only put those on my phone. I can't use the tablet because uh, I'm on the motorcycle, and I got it hidden in my vest. So, um, uh, so that's the only way I can do it. So when I, I make the videos, I come back, I try to upload it, and then I go on, and uh, sometimes they upload, and sometimes they don't. And then I go on and uh, delete it. And then the next day I'll go out and do some more. And that's what I just came back from. Well, rain brought me in a little early. So uh, I got them uploading right now. We'll see what happens. But anyway, uh, and I'm, uh, I'm in good health now. Recovered. I had a heat exhaustion there for a while. Um, a few couple days, couple days back now. My stomach's doing good. No more headache. Uh, I'm, I'm really getting back in the groove again. This is Mike, no stress Mike.com.